So, Michelle. <laughs> We started the Pilates pod 12 years ago. 12 years ago. Oh, that's many moons ago. <laughs> and, uh, and we're celebrating our anniversary. Your anniversary. Our anniversary. anniversary yeah. <laughs> Looking back 12 years ago, how does it feel to have come this far? Well, first success is, as a husband and wife business, we're still married. So that's a massive pat on our backs for being married and having a business through COVID, recession, credit crunch, Brexit, and all the other things. So I think that's a testament to a hub marriage that we can survive a business working together. <laughs> more important than marriage, there's business, isn't there? And more important than marriage, there's <laughs> business. <laughs> it's not been an easy 10 out of the 12 years. So I think if anybody has survived in those last 12 years, then it's a massive achievement. I think we've all pulled together. We've all not just survived, but thrived through things. And it does mean so much to you. A family business is much more than a big conglomerate. And everybody that we have working with us, it's really special. It's really important to us that they're looked after and cared for and that they're seen through in progressions and develop developments. Um, it's not about just earning money, it's about looking after people in here and what what it means to these people in, in the studio, it means what it means to our team and their families. So yeah, there's a big sense of responsibility and then a big sense of pride and achievement if you can keep going. Through those 12 years, what are you most proud of? I'm proud every day of helping the clients just to see their achievements, just to see what they can do each time they come in, especially the people that have got issues and injuries. You know, I come home going, oh, this lady did this today that she couldn't before and it meant that she can pick the grandkids up now and she's not in pain anymore and she can, you know, put on her own trousers. They're the things that mean so much to people and that's what I love doing, helping people start to feel like they can live their life again. And it's like we often say to each other, don't we, that it's not necessarily great big yeah. changes. It's the incremental small changes that often make the biggest differences to people. Yeah, definitely. I mean, for me, I, exactly that. I had a car accident a long time ago. And the little things that I wanted to be able to do were things like bending down and putting on, standing on one leg to put your own knickers on. It doesn't feel like that's a huge thing in your life if someone else can do a marathon and you're struggling to put your knickers on. It doesn't feel like it's a huge achievement. It's a massive achievement when you don't have to ask someone else to do it for you. And that's what we find every day in our clients. Those small little things that they can now do mean great things outside the studio. So little stuff in here, big stuff out there. And when are you going to start putting your knickers on? <laughs> <laughs> do you think you deserve a pat on the back? I think I mean, these wrinkles and bags and stuff don't come from 12 years of business for nothing. It's just all magical to see people doing well, to see people like Ellen starting as a new teacher to where she is now, to seeing people like Fiona come through from Apprentice, to even see like Lizanne working from a client, to being just the most fabulous office manager. Just, it we're all just in it together and it's just so lovely. Such a nice place. Michelle, well done. Give me some good time on the back.